Yo, welcome back to Genshin Impact. Tuning in to doing one of my dailies. Um, I have not had the time to uh, play Genshin in the last few days because I was just too tired every time. And now uh, we're gonna talk to Moko and Hilly again. What are we gonna do? Adeline is totally gonna freak out. What's up? So Adeline asked us to tidy up the area around the winery. Most places were fine, but there are all these haystacks lying around. Connor said he's starting them here because he needs stuff for something. They're both pretty tired, so at least they didn't get blown away in the wind, but so a lot of leaves got blown in among the hay. We've actually hired it, but we still didn't manage to get all the leaves out. If we keep on at this place, we had housemate Adeline is gonna freak out what we gotta do. Allow me. Seriously, you're awesome, thanks. Uh, is it my time to clean up duty? Sweep up the pile of leaves. Oh my god. Okay. This really is... Absolute... Peak gameplay, I would say. Can I do it with Hydra or do I gotta do it with Windblade? Two at a time, baby. That's what I'm here for. Also, I just started watching the new season of Stranger Things. I've been like, really out of it. Cause like, if it's a thing with like, Netflix shows that are like, coming out once in two years. I'm having a hard time keeping up with the plot, so I was like, really confused at the beginning. Kinda detached to some of the characters, cause I like, have been so out of it. But I just saw the second episode and it's really good. I like it. I'm. I missed the show. I'm really hyped to see the other episodes. Very much hyped. Oh, you can use Adama to blow the leaves out from the haystack. Not a bad idea. She's telling me that now. Oh, Pyman. Worst trouble companion ever. How did it go? Did you get them all? Every last one. Oh my gosh, you're awesome. Chival, you're the best person ever. <laughs> Thanks, now Adeline won't be on our backs. Please take these as our thank you gift. Right, we've got other places to clean now. Thanks again, see you. Oh, also, I've been seeing there's been like an uproar on Twitter that um people have been complaining about the new Genshin update being so big and taking like 30 uh, gigabytes, which is a lot. Cause like, I didn't even know you could like, that the pre-installation would be so early this time. But uh, yeah, and some people have been saying uh, uh, it even contains like that of a Sumeru, that's why it's bigger, but I'm not too sure about that yet. I mean, Sumeru won't come uh, out before 3.0, probably, but um, you know, still. Can I pull something? Do I have Prima gems? Hardly any, hardly any, but still. So hardly anything. <laughs> oh, come on. Anyways, guys, for today, first of all, I wanna finish off Barbara's hangout event. Because it's the last scene which we haven't played so far. Uh, continue playing at the deep. Depart back to Sister Victoria. Alright, I already know which option I have to pick in this one. So I'm just gonna say we're gonna finish the last hangout ending route. Pretty fast, won't take too long of our time. Why am I walking if I have Mona on my team? I'm so not used to like playing Mona. <laughs> I totally forgot that she has the the dash thing, but I'm glad she has. This is very cool because, as I said, as I explained a couple episodes earlier, <laughs> new rules is I'm only allowed to play characters from said region when I'm playing in said region. So um. No Ayaka is spin dash for me, and I'm uh, prohibited from Ayaka because she's my main, so... Told me you when did you get back? You I'm skipping well. the dialogue because this we saw that last episode. If you want to read the dialogue, you gotta watch the last episode. Like Fantastic summer already because... I'd like to try a special chili brew. Do I still have to click on that one? Wait, I gotta... I gotta... Uh, <laughs> now I do have to look up the guide. I took a screenshot of it. It won't take me too long. Because I know that it's about chili brew also, but I don't know if I have to, you know, like, click on the same thing. You know what? I'm just gonna try it. I'm just Coming 
right my screenshots are loading. But I should warn you, the flavor is quite unique. I'm not sure how you'll Where's handle it. my screenshot? It. It's not loading. Okay. All right, let me the key to a good final to decision. Ah, uh, here it is. All right. I'll head to the Whispering Wood to gather sweet flowers while you go search for Julia and Chilies around Stone Where's Gate. Stone? Oh, that's the passage to Leva. Oh, and by the way, even though I've already requested a half day's leave from Sister Victoria, she always insists that I still give her my itinerary for any trips I take. While I head over to the Whispering Woods, could you please check in with Sister Victoria and let her know where I'm Oh, be? God damn it! Yeah, sure. Nothing, nothing rather than that, obviously. Can I just skip everything she has to say because she's unlikable? Yes, my child. Yo. Oh, Sister Barbara wishes to go yes. to the West. I see. In yes. fact, I'm sure Sister Barbara has her Yeah, reasons. I'll be accompanying her. I trust she will be in good hands then. But yeah, we had well, the same the conversation already. If they appear, but if she's approached by fans during her time, and not to mention, she's too kind. So with that in mind, we thought we'd have Sister Barbara always tell us where she- Helicopter hope. parents, without being actual parents. Ooh, uh, now we're gonna head to the stone gate. I'm not gonna walk there. This is ages away. Jesus. Oh my god, we're going to Liyue. <gasps> we're in Liyue, and I have the monster team. Is this prohibited? I mean, I knew that this would lead me there. I just wasn't too sure because I felt like... Maybe I'm probably gonna end up in monster anyways after finishing this uh, episode. Because I already know what we're gonna do after... <laughs> Completing this little tiny whiny hangout event Or maybe I'm gonna change my plans and so we're gonna do something completely else. I don't know depends on my mood in I don't know 15 minutes after we finish this little oh my god. No Oh No fall damage. Why am I climbing if I have 20 on my team? Ah, Beginner's mistake The pressure plate down there would have probably activated some animal current right <laughs> probably but here we are I have my own animal currents this is working as well splendidly yes okay can I make it over there can I make it over there without running out of stem please it's a very close tie it's a very close tie and we have made it. Hell yeah. I need some chuyun and chili. Oh my god, this reminds me of when I first uh, came to Liyue. I was climbing over there and I was like, wow. So many new things. <laughs> it wasn't Shangling Story Quest, I think. Oh. Over there! Tree and chilies! Quick, let's go and pick some! These are fresh, all right. Paimon can feel the spiciness just by holding them. Let's go to the Whispering Woods and find Barbara. Thank you. I'm not gonna walk there. <laughs> I'm not gonna walk there. This would take me forever. And more. And more. And probably still even more. Or maybe if I would have used Mona, it would take me more and more, but not any more than that. See, I'm making so much sense. Wow. This seems like the right place, but Barbara isn't here. Oh no, I think she ran into the treasure holder who we have met in the other route. Well, let's wait here a while. She'll probably be back soon. <laughs> you can hear like screaming in the distance. Travel and Pyro begin to wait. <sighs> it's been ages. Where in Tavat did she I'm go? I'm a little worried. Paimon's worried too. Barbara should have been back by now. She said she wanted to go to the Whispering Woods and pick sweet flowers. Let's head over there. Yep. Hey Barbara, where are you at? You've been running into some guy called Uwe, maybe? I don't know, just ask him, just my... Ah, oh, do I have to fight the Hilly Shirts again? I have Pyro on my team. Uh... She's not here either. Where the heck is she already? <sighs> Let's look further up ahead. Okay, she's standing over there. She has not run into anyone. This is interesting. 
Starfell Lake. Okay. Wait, that's Barbara. Why is she hiding? Let's see what's going tell on. Tell me Albert is back, please. Hi there. How did you two? Oh, quickly, this way. Try not to make We thought sound. something might have happened, so we came looking for you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I ran into something unexpected. Oh, there's no heading back now. Long story short, I was picking sweet flowers and suddenly a group of treasure hoarders appeared. Oh my god, just oh my god, just killed my dude. Oh no. My poor painting has fallen down so many times now. Jesus Christ. Is this hurt? I gotta check. They'd though. seized a merchant of some kind and were pushing her around. It sounded like they were demanding money from her. I took cover right away, but I've been trailing them ever That's since. So whole. I guess they were too caught up with the merchant to notice me. I followed them this far. Didn't break. But it seemed like they knew somebody was following them, so I didn't go any further. That was risky. What if you'd been discovered? Don't worry about me. They're only treasure hoarders, after all. Anyway, I've got a vision. It's enough to protect myself. As for the person they seized, they might be in danger. That's why I was secretly trailing wow, them. Wow, so bold. I thought of getting the knights involved, but I was worried it would take too long. What if the treasure hoarders did something terrible while I I'm was I'm a knight gone? and I'm a wolf now. I was trying to think of some way of rescuing the merchant when you showed up. So, honorary knight, maybe you could, uh... Uh, say no more. I'm sure these treasure hoarders will respond well to a little direct intuition. Yay! I'll leave it to you, honorary knight. I'll handle the aftercare. You mean you gotta heal me? Because I end up getting kicked in my ass, probably. Alrighty, I'm used to that. Who dares enter our territory? Kaisha. Release your hostage immediately. <laughs> so you want to play the hero? Porter, seize the girl. Let's see if this idiot with her dares make a move. I'm not an idiot. I got a claymore. Oh no, they're going after Barbara. We've got to... Don't worry about me. I'm a vision bearer after all. I'll handle these guys. You go rescue the merchant. She's got a vision. Boss, what should we do? <laughs> wow. Afraid of Barbara. What are you scared of? She's just a girl. So what if she's got a vision? There are more of us. Quit stalling and get her. Lousy ass people, what you trying Big to do, blade. man? Shut up. Written in the stars. Can't do anything. Not on my watch. Let me scrub. Protecting women. Yeah, Here call me a sim. So I'm what? I don't away. respect the women, protect the women. And attack the treasure hunters, of course. Big sword to boom boom. My hammer, my hammer. <laughs> Talk to Kaishan. Who is this guy? What are you doing here? Who are you? Oh, it's a girl. Thank you. I can't express my gratitude. I'm a merchant from Liua. I was on my way to Mondstadt. I had no idea there were treasure hoarders on the road. They seized me and brought me here. Oh no. If it weren't for you, gods know what would have happened to me. Oh, <laughs> please allow me to repay your kindness. The treasure hoarders already made off with most of my things, but... Let me see here, um... What we got? So, there are still a few bottles of chili brew, a few sweet flowers, and here's some aura. No, 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 we don't need a reward. Rescuing those in need is only natural. Besides, I'm the deaconess of the Church of Favonius, and this is the Knights of Favonius Honorary Knight. As a visitor from Liyue, we have a duty to guard your safety. I won't hear of it. You rescued me. It's only right that your kindness is repaid. I'm afraid I have nothing of great value to offer, but please choose what you like. Um, okay. I just don't know what to choose. Leo at Chili Brew might be delicious, but with those sweet flowers, I'd have enough ingredients to make my own. I know. You have way more adventuring experience than me. You'll be better at this. You choose. What do you think is the most fitting reward? Yes, adventurers are savvy when it comes to rewards. What'll it be? Leo's famous chili brew, sweet flowers, <laughs> I take the Mora and the quest ends. <laughs> Let's go for Mora. I'd like to try the Leo chili brew. This? I mean, sure. <laughs> 
I don't know if you'll enjoy it. There are two of you, so you'll be needing a couple of bottles. Here you go. Pace yourselves. Thanks again for your help. I better get moving. And we done it. Oh, talk to Barbara. But bruh. Bruh. Leo, I chili brew. I've never tried it. I wonder what the flavor's like. Well, here goes nothing. Traveling Baba tries to chili brew. <coughs> oh. You can trick your own chili brew. Well, heck, we can't handle this one. <laughs> Pathetic. Ooh, uh, spicy. Throat's on fire. Just like Goba. Mm, this isn't like the chili brew I make at all. <laughs> it's the real thing. What do you think? Uh, <coughs> it's something new. Guess we don't have to finish them. It's getting late. And I doubt there's enough time to go looking for sweet flowers. When we get time, I'll make some for you. My version's a little easier on the tongue. Less stimulating. Let's head back to Mondstadt. My break's nearly over. Thanks for your company today, honorary night. Even though it was only half a day, I had a great time. Next time? You can try my special chili brew. I already did. Thank you, thank you. I was playing in the wrong order. Uh, oh. Yeah, we've done all of the taste of chili brew is unique at this particular journey. Well, thank you, thank you. Which means I will be getting primer gems. Which also means I will gladly take them. Well, Barbara's I can be gone now. Or is it still here? All endings reached. Oh, okay, she did. That's, that's what it says. That's what it that, that that doesn't sound like proper English to me. Bennett has six. I didn't know Bennett has six. I thought he has only five. Hmm. Thinking, thinking. Well, no, I'm not gonna scratch over my plans for today because my plans for today were that we're gonna do Mona Story Quest, which is also the reason I have Mona on my team and changed the skin. Also, yes, Mona Story Quest was for whatever reason triggered in Liyue, but I. I think it probably takes us back to Monster anyway, so Monster team is fitting. Also, um, yeah, I just realized that because we, we saw Jean's um, altered skin in the cutscene in her story quest, means we have to deal with Mona's new skin in her story quest, which is the. Yeah, there she stands. Which is the only reason I regret waiting so long, because look at this. I mean. Isn't it wonderful? I mean, look at the the texture. I mean, uh, the colors on her head are prettier in this one because it's not as dark blue and there's not as many stars. And that's obviously the only thing I'm talking about. Oh my god, it's me. It's Mona. <laughs> Finally. I almost fell asleep waiting. I'm sorry for leaving you hang. Whoa. <laughs> As usual, my predictions are correct. You, yes you, come with me. Huh? <laughs> are you some sort of door-to-door -door fortune teller? <laughs> Sorry, but we're not really interested. <sighs> You're not from this world, are you? How do you know? Oh my god, I love her so much. Does my ability to see through your secrets so easily not evoke any memories? <laughs> Jamona! It's been a while. Oh, Paimon remembers! You're that astrologist! When was the last time we saw her? Was it in the- Did we see her after the Unrequited Stars event? I feel like we did at some point, but I can't remember. Was she in the Windbloom Festival? No, she wasn't. Was she? I don't know. That's right. It is I, Astrologist Mona Magistus. Magistus? Oh, I always thought it was a Megustus. <laughs> Megustus. <laughs> Magistus sounds much better, yes. This time, I would like you to come with me to Mondstadt <laughs> to reclaim a box that belongs to my master. Mona Megustus. It was part of an agreement she made with a friend 50 years ago. But she isn't as spry as she used to be, so now it's up really to really like me. her voice. I don't know, something about the way she talks is, sounds pretty. Also, has this thing always been red? I don't know. Sure, what getting some box back has to do with us? Why do you need us to come? What is she along? doing in Leewood to begin with? Well, that's because I would also like to take on the guardian of the box. My master and her friend contended in the mystic arts all their lives without a clear victor. 
If I triumph here, then I will show myself to be superior to my so master. So you basically you want to look good. What are you talking about? The main thing here is to use this chance to prove the power and status of astrology. Now, from my predictions, I know that my master's friend has left Mondstadt, leaving her successor as the current guardian of that box. Like me, that successor must also be one who has surpassed their teacher. I must not be careless, but I would prefer to assure my victory in this contest, and upon giving it some thought, you came to mind. <laughs> I have no idea how astrology works. I don't believe it. <laughs> Mono's gonna come for me. How did he get involved in this? Hey, I guess it's written in the stars if she says so. The knowledge passed down to me from my master must be passed on in turn. If I were to bring my disciple to meet her, then the lead is already mine, So you no? want me to call you master? And you are Mondstadt's great hero, my equal in status. So <laughs> I refuse. Since when was I your student? Come on, you don't actually have to become my disciple. You just need to act the part. Okay, will do. There's something in it for you as well, should you come with me to get that box. Once I meet that successor and have a chance to exchange knowledge with them... I should be able to read your fate more accurately. She does have something cat-like about her, doesn't she? Or maybe it's just because the twin tails remind me of uh, uh, Azusa from Kaon. My best girl, Azunyan. <laughs> then I will have answers for you, even regarding such distant and foggy matters as gods and kin. Kin? Uh, you want to you wanna pass on my card links? You can have my kin list. I'm uh, just kidding. I don't actually have a card link. I am too lazy to create one. That does seem much faster than searching the land country by country. I do kin every depressed character I know, though. So I'm um, <laughs> mark that down, I guess. <laughs> Write me down as a doppelganger Zeka King. Those sound like fine conditions, well. I guess we'll play along. That's, that's fine conditions for me. <laughs> a wise decision. That said, I would like to pay a certain place a visit before we People go. robbed. <laughs> Which place? Oh, beyond this world's stars. Oh, it is also glowing red in the skin. There is a small inn near Mount Tianhong that never sees a lot of business, even though its food is always great value for the money. The owner has always been good to me, so I'd like to say a farewell before I set off. Uh, okay, okay. The owner... The owner of the mountain. Who owns the mountain? Look at me going, climbing. Oh my god! And getting stuck. Scry the scry the Uh oh yes. How I missed it. Climbing in Leo. I could probably teleport directly to. Of course. Why am I climbing? Why am I even trying? Why am I trying to? What am I doing? I don't know. I am Efer. I am the main character or something like that is what he would say if he would have any voice lines. Ha. <laughs> Jokes on you. Is this the play oh yeah, we haven't been here in a couple of while. In a couple of while it doesn't make sense, but I said so now, so <laughs> Hater. Well, it's no wonder that an inn set up here has no Why are we always fronting that poor guy? Mona, you come at just the right time. Did you see a jade ring while you made your way here? A jade ring? Can't say I have. Oh, that's not good. That ring was given to me by my mother. But while my back was turned, it was swallowed up by a slime. Hmm. That should be no trouble with Mona here. She's really good at astrology. What does that have to do with anything? Absolutely not. Astrology is meant to be used to gain insight into reality and observe destiny itself. It's certainly not for such mundane affairs. <laughs> but didn't you say that the owner here has been good to you? This is a matter of pride and one state of mind. If an astrologist thinks that their arts can solve all problems, they will be forsaken by the starry ether. I'm starry ether. Their divinations <laughs> will lose the power to guide and will not be able to pierce the fog of the unknown before them. Principles are principles. Such a powerful ability, and you don't use it to earn a living? <laughs> you a don't shame. scam people with it? What do you mean? Uh, well, I was going to put up 20,000 more as compensation. If you See, will. that's the reason why Mona is broke, because she doesn't scam people. Oh, come on, you could have been, you could have been the richest person. You could build your own shade chamber. Uh, 20,000? <laughs> you okay? Oh, uh, it's nothing. I... 
I was just thinking that the person who finds that ring must be lucky indeed to be able to earn 20,000 mora just like that. Whatever happened to your principles of person? <laughs> you were just talking about his treasure's fright, huh? <clears throat> yes, of course. Still, the owner's business has had it pretty hard. It must be a truly extraordinary ring to be worth spending this much more. <gasps> Mona find. and me would be such a power couple. We'd be both like, oh, I'm in it for the money. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want me to do, you want me to drop a bomb on the Jade Chamber again? Sure thing, if the payment's good enough. <laughs> it wouldn't be right for us to leave like this, so let's help to search for it. There may be other means we can employ besides a strong. Only thing I wouldn't do ever, no matter how much money it's take. I would never backstab my waifu Ayaka. Oh, Paimon knows where this is going. Money. I know, I'll leave this one to you. This is the first mission I'm giving you as your master. Hmm. Yeah, business. <laughs> hmm. Since it was swallowed up by a slime, maybe we can use elemental bait to lure all the nearby slimes to us. Great, we'll be attacked by 5,000 slimes. Good idea, Paimon. You remember the stuff we helped Master D. Luke make? Oh yeah, true. And... <laughs> Paimon actually kept a small amount... For two years? Well, don't tell me that. D don't tell me that when you get greedy, you. Well then, Paimon. Paimon's the very best partner, right? <laughs> Saying this as a threat, be like, oh, if you if you say anything wrong, I'm gonna get all the biggest slimes to attack you. Seems like you already have a plan. Yep, we'll be back in a jiffy. Jiff, jiff. Your furry side is showing, Paimon. Okay, okay. The elemental bait's really strong. It will attract all the slimes in the area. Even if they're just slimes, they can be dangerous together, so we'd best prepare ourselves. It's just slimes. Hello there! Would you like some... Disappear! disappear. <laughs> Would you like some disappear? No, give me back my berries! Oh my god. <laughs> Physics work? Wow. Oh, break. I must leave no stone on no the table. No a good night should. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Slash, slash. Oh, hello there. Look at the unforged. Everyone's favorite five star weapon, am I right, guys? I'm so wrong. Decided by <laughs> destiny. Shadows of fate. Time for takeoff. I can still play as Mona and the Traveler and be quest accurate. Just shouldn't switch characters too much. But I have to because elemental reactions. Oh my god. <sighs> can I break your. Okay, I can break the shield of Noel. Thank you, that's nice. Please ignore my bottle making noise in the background. I just had to drink some water because hydration would be important. Catch up. Get him. I must leave no stone unturned. Windblade. Yeah. My favorite voice line in the yeah. game. Was Mantra Swine? I don't yeah. know her. I mean, Windblading. With the boys. <laughs> Gets frozen. Windblade. <laughs> Are these gonna be the last slides? Should I waste my old on it? Okay. Talk to Pyman. Yo, we got a ring, Mona. You wanna marry me? Found it. This must be the ring. It's so pretty. Paimon, sure it's worth a ton of. Uh, <laughs> Paimon oh, isn't having any bad thoughts. Uh, let's bring the ring back to Mr. Zeus. Um, th at this point, I'm too lazy to cut up my sneezing, so um, I'm just gonna deal with my. It do be, it do be allergy season, so. <laughs> Okay, wait. The ultimate comparison. Comparison. This is... Uh-huh, uh -huh, I see, I see. You see her legs on the the quest mona right now, both are purple. My cape is slightly, um, is about precisely paler. Telling one's written destiny. Over embellishing that fate only leads My to wish is glowing more. Oh! Oh no, wait, never mind. No, wait. Okay, her head is turned. I thought the the uh, hat was cut out of different places, but 
She's got a little bow on it, and it's like more bluish. Front part. Obviously the whole leg part is different. I obviously prefer the one I'm wearing right now. Other than that... Is it just the sun or is uh, my... The little color thing more detailed? The, the jewelry part? I'm actually looking at the details now, I'm not looking at her cleavage. Okay, both have the tiny bows on their pigtails. I see. Oh, I gotta talk to this guy. Okay. <laughs> That's it! That's the one! Ah, I thought it was lost forever. You actually found it. Not bad. Mr. Zhu, you must take care of such precious things a bit better. You might not be so fortunate next It's so time. funny because I know when we finish this quest, we will get like... We get rewards. I probably also Mora, because you always get Mora when you finish the story quest. But just like, no no way Mona can pay us. We should just give that money to her instead. You're absolutely right. How would I have faced my family if I had lost the 253rd ring my mother gave me? Um, this is an accurate expression, yeah. No, let me explain. My family owns three jade mines, and in order to ensure that I would be able to find myself a good wife, my mother had many jade accessories made as heirlooms. And she thought it takes you 200 tries to find a girl and bring her home. Oh man, your mother must be disappointed in you. I think there might be over 500 of them. Then why would you feel the need to set up an inn here? <laughs> Well, inheriting the family business too early unavoidably made things boring. Thank you, all the same. Here's the Mora, as agreed. Please take it. Then? Then I'll take it, gladly. Uh, even Paimon wasn't that fast. But we did all the work! <laughs> it's okay, she can have it. A disciple should act like one. How can they steal their master's thunder? Well... Didn't we say we were just playing pretend? <laughs> well, you need to start practicing now. If my rival is as smart as I think they are, they will figure you out in a heartbeat. Um, they want to treat you to some dinner. Uh, what was that rumbling? It's the rumbling from Attack on Titan. Oh, right. You mustn't have eaten in days. Particularly physics. I'm very sorry. I forgot that you have no. Ah, uh, sh <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen. Forget. In terms of Mara, we have no Mara. Hmm. Well. I suddenly feel that you have indeed contributed to our good fortune. I say we spend this money on treating you to a fine meal. If we travel north, we'll reach the Wangshu Inn. I hear the food there is really good, so let's go try it out. No need to thank me, I'm just doing as a good master should. Mm. Did she say she was treating us? Is Paimon hearing things? <laughs> let's go after her. There, said it for you. <laughs> She's a good person. Said it for you. She's such a good person. <laughs> Let's have ourselves a great meal! <laughs> okay, okay. We're going to wax you in together with Mona to monster. Oh, okay. I see, I see. I didn't expect this. Oh, I thought Wang Shu in was closer. Just saw it in the distance. We're gonna meet Chao here. That would be cool. Oh my god. I wanna see Mona interact with people from other nations as well. Mona and Ganyu ship when? <laughs> Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, I said I did not expect this quest to be taking so much uh, time in Liyue, actually. Thought we'd be like, oh, walking into Mona and then straight up going back to Monstead. But that would make no sense why we would be here then, so I um, guess. Also, I haven't been to Wangshu in a while. So smoothly going down the stairs, wow. I like this, this method of traveling. I know there's an elevator here, but whoever uses that. Actually... Thank you. Jesus, I thought her name was Varka. Like, the one in the, you know, in the backstory. Oh, hi Mona, I'm Mona. <laughs> Since it's Mona's treat, we can order whatever we want, right? Of course. I am a most generous master, after all. But only if you can finish it all. Wasting food simply will not do. Excuse me, what would you like to order? Uh, the gold shrimp bowls, as for the vegetarian abalone. How about the scrap real tofu? And the salt. <laughs> Everything? Okay. This is a favorite among our regulars. Bamboo shoots, meat and ham are cooked together, creating a richly flavored soup. 
pour a few spoonfuls into each bowl of rice you eat, you'll never get enough of it. Uh, I gotta take everything. It's exactly okay. what it says on the label. Abalone made from vegetarian ingredients. It's just as good as the real you thing. You the whole menu to me? These are made using large succulent shrimp wrapped in crispy fried potatoes. They have an amazing taste. I don't want to use up all of Mono's money. Come on. Though tofu could not be a more ordinary ingredient, it and crab roe are truly a match made in heaven. It's one of our specialties. I'll order them all. Uh, all of them? We only have three. No, two and a half people? Isn't that too much? What do you mean two and a half people? That's not how you count it. Besides, Paimon hasn't even ordered yet. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, two and a half, that's not accurate. Paimon can eat for five people. Paimon can eat five people. Squirrelfish, Juyu chili chicken, and Juyu soup, please. How does all that fit into all of that? Sure. And is there anything else you'd like to order, ma'am? Everything. I... I'd just like to ask, how much do the current dishes cost in total? Um, around 20,000 mora. I'll be taking Mona into bankruptcy, I guess. Then, <laughs> uh, I'll... I'll just have some vegetarian noodles, please. All right. A bowl of vegetarian noodles, was it? Please wait a moment. We'll serve you shortly. Food arrives, you climb and gorge yourself a feast for King Mona then spare herself. Paimon's been thinking about something since we started Why eating. she only order one dish? Yeah, you know she's broke. It's not that hard to figure it out. Then the guy at the hotel already spilled it. Is it? Because she actually doesn't have money? You're realizing that not we're such assholes. I heard that. <laughs> I said I was treating. How could I be rattled by something as mundane as Mora? An astrologist's mind is set on studying the stars. Being so easily disturbed by such banal matters would hamper my judgment. Especially the act of overly gratifying oneself using Mora. It is both vulgar... Oh no. Why is this... Why are there question marks? And dangerous. So, not eating the dishes we ordered is also part of an astrologist's pride? Paimon doesn't get it, but it feels kind of bad that only we got to see. I mean, whip stuff we got up here. Oh, yes, we can do that. Just give us a minute. What are we doing? Are we cooking for her? What are we doing? You don't use more to fulfill your desires, so it's fine as long as you're not buying anything, right? Oh. Let's go borrow the kitchen from the innkeeper. Oh my god, yes. Let's talk to Smiley Yansho. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, close call. Oh my god. Just like trying to catch the Deutsche Bahn. <laughs> Same thing, basically. Can't jump out the window. I'm gonna try. I can't! No. Uh, imagine if I would have fallen down. That would have been embarrassing. Hey, guy from the bridges. Hello. How may I help you? Give me you? kitchen now. We'd like to borrow the kitchen here. Friend of mine would like to eat a special dish. Ah, I see. In that case, sure. As long as you prepared your own ingredients, feel free to use oh, the kitchen. Oh, thank you. Didn't expect him to be that kind about it. If I may, you must be well versed in the art of cooking, yes? Of course. If I make it, it's delicious. <laughs> Talented in Ten indeed. out of ten. Actually, I have a small suggestion Oh, to Jesus. Make. Should have said I got no skills. From your clothes, you're most likely not from around these parts. But since you've come to Liyue, would you like to try making Liyue-style cuisine? I have a recipe for golden crab. Oh. It's a Yue cuisine That's classic. how you get that one. I see. It's crab meat that's been rolled in flour, deep fried, and then pan fried together with ginger and garlic. When you finally plate it up, the crab seems to be lying on gold. Golden crab. <laughs> Learning holy dish for Mona's sake is a bit. <laughs> golden crab, golden crab. I got it, I got it. <laughs> then let's get to it. With your skills in the kitchen, this will be a cinch. Pyman goes in the pot. Howdy. Howdy. Please, straight on in. Nice. Nice. Yo, Smiley Yansha, what's up? Uh, give the golden crap, Mama Delicious to Mona. Jesus, let me cook it first. I don't have it. Uh, do I have all the ingredients? Um. Well. Golden crap. <laughs> flour, I can make flour. 
And also, crab, I need to get a crab now, okay. Give me your side quest just for the menu. Oh, what should I do? What's wrong? Oh, it's you, nothing's wrong, except I might need to start looking for a new job soon. Oh, because I'm taking over the kitchen, I get that. The other day, the innkeeper asked me to prepare a new dish that would attract more guests. You mean a golden crab? It should be presentable and tasty, but also stylish and artisan. Oh, and have personality. I've been trying to come up with something satisfactory over the last week, but the innkeeper didn't like any dish I came up with. What did she make? I gave it all I had, really. I utilized everything I learned by honing my culinary skills in the mountains. Candied silk flour, shinkson and leather seek duck stew, crab roll stewed meatballs, but how would she... But he would shake his head at everything and ask me to give it another thought. I've already reached my limit, eh? Alright, still gotta cook something for the freeloaders. It's about time to come around. Do you mean Xiangshu? Unless you know of any other parasites who just shamelessly come here every day asking for food. Since you're already here, why don't you grab a bite too? You can sit over there. We'll serve the food when it's ready. Oh, uh, okay. You mean this table? Oh, there he is. I see that we have a special guest today. Usually, it's just the chef and I eating in silence. Perhaps your presence will live up today's meal. But it appears that the chef is terribly worried about selfie today with that long face. Why a long face? Okay. Sorry, Mona. I gotta eat my own dinner. I'm just too hungry. The meatballs are not half bad. This meat just melts in one's mouth. The buff broth packs a lot of flavor as well. Huh, there's crab roll in the meat. No wonder it tastes so unusually fresh. Come, traveler, try one more. I'll teach you what to do. First, use chopsticks to open the meatball up, then soak it in the broth and eat with some rice. So nice of you. You better enjoy the food because it might have been the last meal I got to cook here. Last meal you got to cook here? Who told you so? Oh no, is it because of me? Is the innkeeper fed up with you because you've been feeding me all this time? Seems a bit unfair, given that I supplied the inn with some of my best catches free of charge. That should have covered at least a part of my bill. Besides, the innkeeper isn't known for being a miser. Give me a break, it was just a few fish and most of them ended up in your stomach anyway. So actually... Oh, fine, I'll tell you. Swan Yasha explains the innkeeper's request to Chang Shu. Presentable, tasty, stylish, artisan, and of personality. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's any dish in this world that meet the innkeeper's requirements. Paimon meets the requirements. You think it's funny? We'll see how you'll laugh when you come over next time. I won't be here to feed you for free. Alright, alright. It's not so funny after all. So that's why you've been looking so very today. It's hard to be in high spirits when your boss expects you to perform miracles of a sudden. Hmm, there might be a way out. Even though I can't cook myself, I have I happen to know a recipe for a unique dish. Yo, I'm getting so many recipes. Came across a dish during a trip abroad when I happened to be guest at a local Big Shot's house. They call it chicken tofu pudding. By the looks of it, you wouldn't say that it's a meat dish. It's really as delicate as tofu pudding, but with a strong flavor of meat and herbs. Our rare meat dish that imitates vegetarian cuisine. The meal left me so curious about the dish that I asked my host for the recipe. However, I'm a bad cook, so the recipe has been collecting dust in my chest ever since. Shit, must have been a very difficult dish. No doubt about it. According to that chef, those who attempt to make the dish have to be not only skilled in the art of cooking, but also in the art of the sword. Oh my god, that's me. What kind of dish requires swinging a sword? I could chop meat just fine with my knife. I could use my claymore. I'm afraid you'd soon have cut the chopping board enough to mince the meat fine enough with that knife of yours. I still have minced meat as the of this dish. As such precise sword technique is the key to success. First one needs to portion the meat and chop it up with the sword's edge. Then use the sword's back so to mince it. Next. Hold on, wait a minute. That recipe of yours is, is good for nothing in our hands. I'm not much of a swordsman and you're not a cook. Where can we find a sword wielding warrior who also happens to have some culinary skills? Oh my god, they're both looking at me. Ah, Jesus! Help. This person might be closer than you think. <laughs> is for me? Precisely isn't the fortune twist the fate that you know how to use both the sword and the stove. How about we let the travel attempt to make that unique dish? Ah, uh, but the innkeeper wanted Yansha to... Well, the innkeeper only told Yansha to come up with a new dish. He didn't specify you had to cook it, so it's still an open question. Am I right, chef? Alright, your logic is sound. But what ingredients do we need to make chicken tofu pudding? Nothing special, really. Just fowl, ham, bird egg, and snapdragon. I should have all of that. Still have some fallen ham sort in the kitchen, but we're fresh out of birds and snapdragon. I don't know, sooner I would have made those much tech scrambled eggs. Trevor, can I call you to bring me some of each? Once you find them, we'll work the kitchen. We'll work the chicken tofu pudding all together. 
Oh, that should make sure to repay you for your help. Uh, thank you in advance. Thank you, and I think I have, like, most ingredients ready now for the thing I'm making for Mona. Have you fought Burdick and Snapdragon? Oh my god, I have one Snapdragon? Jesus Christ, how lucky. <laughs> Alright, we got all the ingredients needed, let's get to work. Uh, where do you want me to start first? Well, maybe a freeloading friend can provide us with some instructions. Right, first polish the meat on a table with your sword and slice it into smaller pieces. Then mince it, slowly turning it into fine pasta. Cut the meat. Where am I? Where? Cut meat. Where? Cook. Wonder I'll turn out. Hope it's tasty. Um. What do you want me to do? Why is the fire gone out now? Weird. Can I give the thing to Mona? Or do I have to cook it first? That's weird. I am kind of confused right now. We'll see. We'll figure it out. <laughs> hey there. There's no need to spend all that effort on me. I'm not in dire need of food. I am a little hungry, but it's not a big deal. I have 13 of the- how? If I only just got the recipe? This aroma is- <laughs> You're a special order, man. Wow, it's incredible. Fine, since my disciple has put in so much time and effort, I must, with great difficulty, accept. Oh, it's delicious. It's the most delicious thing I've eaten recently. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I never knew that my disciple was this skilled. As your master, I am most comfortable. As long as you're eating a full meal. I see that it's no boast to call them Liyue's delicacies. I suppose it wasn't too much to spend all this more on. Ah, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now that we've eaten and drank our fill, we should be off. If we travel north from here, we should reach the Stone Gate. And from there, we will be within the boundaries of Mondstadt. What deep mystery shall we acquire knowledge of? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Now let's get back to the homeland. Continue your journey. Head to the Stone Gate. Heading off to the... Cut the meat. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will not. I will go to the Stone Gate. I don't know exactly where we have to go, but... Uh... Mona? 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 Okay, wait, I gotta look at the quest menu. To Monstead! Alrighty. This is the way we're going. Well... Hi there. Talk to Mona. Whew, that was tiring, but we're finally in Monstad. Mm, not really. The quest to plumb the wondrous depths of knowledge is indeed arduous. Paimon's not tired. Ugh, that's because you flow. <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing. Well, it doesn't look like an astrologist is all that amazing either. That's because you have too many unrealistic fantasies about astrology. Ooh, see. Are you also resting your feet here? I don't trust Who him. Has he got purple eyes? Oh, my brothers and I are all merchants. We just finished doing business in Liyue, and we're preparing to head back okay, to Mondstadt. I trust these guys. You look rather tired. The cart we hired will be coming in a while. What say you to coming along for the ride? I need to pay. No need, no need. We're already heading that way oh, anyway. Thank you. There's no need. Now, shoo, get out of our way. Why so mean? <laughs> Miss, is there something wrong? Cease your pretensions, bandit. Oh, okay. Oops, I would have fallen for it. Picking up people on the road who appear vulnerable, robbing them blind once they've gotten on the cart, and then taking them to some Archon forsaken place. Is that your deal? What are you saying? We came over here to make conversation, and this is how we're rewarded? With insults? I mean, that will look kind of trustworthy. If you don't want to get on, don't. <laughs> Crazy girl. Well then, shall I tell you now which objects you have on you that are stolen? Oh my god, okay, she's gonna read them raw. If you have any quibbles, we can bring people to corroborate what I've said, and all will come to light. 
If I lose, I'll pay you 20,000 mora. But if I win, then you'll be eating prison rations in Liwa Harbor tonight. Reading him like a book. How about it? If you're a real legitimate businessman, there's nothing to fear, is there? You... You... You've pushed it too far, brat. I don't know how you found out, but as long as we get rid of you, no one will have to know. You will not touch her. Don't fret, it's just a few bandits. You said earlier that there was nothing amazing about astrologists. Well then, this is a good time to show you what your master can do. This doesn't really feel like a story quest to me, I don't know why. Oh, you want to make me play with the ugly skin? Okay, here we go. Like, maybe it's just because I played a hangout event recently, last episode, but this feels like more like a hangout event to me. Like, there's... It's like... It's unusual to have a story quest where it's like nothing bad happening. You know? Or like, nothing... Nothing too big happening, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Delve into destiny. Fate is upon you. Oh, even more people. Shadows of fate. Great. Think you can get away? With the wind. Talk to Mona. Will do. What did you think? Did that satisfy your expectations? Wow, your combat abilities were amazing. <laughs> Such things are elementary for an astrologist. Lies are worthless before astrology. Destiny and truth are written in the stars. Though it may take more time to garner the specifics, I can read the gist of a situation at a glance. But fighting has nothing to do with astrology. But you did hit some bumps in the road. That's because Tivat's stars can only display the fates and truths of this world. Anything related to you becomes like a fog that even I cannot penetrate. That is why I must meet that successor. With our knowledge combined, I might be able to gain new insight into your hmm, fate. Not getting I'm a little excited. <laughs> Whatever the case, you've got everything to gain from this trip. Alright, I'm rested. Let's get this journey to Mondstadt over with. <sighs> If only we had a cart. Oh, I thought you weren't tired. <laughs> it's alright, we have Mona. We could travel with Mona. Okay, where are we going now? Reach monster. Just kidding, I'm not gonna go all the way over there. Not when we have free teleportation. You may not have a cart, but we have teleport points. Which are just as good, or even better. And we have Mona as transport. Wow. Are you ready? Don't shame your master now. We're about to meet that successor. I can't read the stars. I guess. Wait, no. It won't do if you have no idea at all. Even if you are a fake disciple. Why is Celestial so big? Oh my god. We have a rule that forbids us from teaching outsiders. But I suppose... I suppose I could teach you. My astrology is based on hydromancy, and as the name suggests, I use the reflections in water bodies to observe the true starry sky. Allow me to demonstrate. Watch closely now. From the present station and movement of the stars... I see. So that successor is a young, female, knight of Favonius. Jean? Clee? I don't know. Doesn't that sound like Lisa? Oh. We will meet her here presently. Oh my god. Well, that's all the information we need. Uh, I have no chance to look at. <sighs> it seems that even basic astrology can't be grasped in one go. Never mind, I'll explain in detail later. She's here. Wow, it's you, Mr. Oh my god. Night. And Paimon, too. You're I back. knew it. <laughs> that's her. The successor to great knowledge. <laughs> you mean Klee? Successor? That's right. I am the astrologist who has plumbed the depths of the ocean of stars. Surely you have long calculated my arrival it's as well. It's a child. An ocean of stars? What's that? Does it have fish oh in it? Oh my god. No, no boom, no fish blasting today, Klee. Fish? No, don't play dumb. Is this some kind of Who's game? Who's you talking to? I should be the one saying that. 
I didn't get what you said at Getting all. Getting lower fast. But my predictions can't be mistaken. Well, let's make sure. Your mother's name is Alice, isn't it? That's right. Oh, so you're mommy's friend. But she's gone very far away. <sighs> my readings told me as much. But before she left, she must have imparted her mystical arts to you, surely. Mystical arts? I don't get it. Mommy only taught me to make jumpy donkeys. <laughs> so Glee's mother is the friend and rival of Mona's teacher? I don't think so. Yes. As well versed in astrology as she was, my master knew only astrology. Alice, on the other hand, was skilled in a great many other mystical fields. Well, Glee's so young. So even if she'd heard this deep knowledge, she might not have understood. Yes. It seems she has inherited the blood, but not the knowledge. What a miscalculation. There can be no contest like this. Ah, yes. So before Alice left, did she tell you about a 50-year agreement and about a certain box? Oh, I know this one. So you're here for that box. I'll look. Wait here. Hmm, not this one. Hmm, or this one. Hmm. No, no, it's not this one either. Ah, I remember now. I buried it together with my new treasure at Wingrise. It's a bomb, isn't it? Wait for me. I'll be right Oh, back. God. Don't blow up Windrise, please. Glee, don't just run off. Don't you need the things in your pack? I'll help her pack these things back in. You go after her. <sighs> Looking at how rash she is, I worry for the box. Oh, well. Here we go. I did not expect to meet Klee in here. <laughs> That's a cute surprise. I'm wondering if like... Is that like the first time you see Klee? Or do you play a story quest first? Like, what can you unlock in which order? Out in the rain and the thunderstorm? That's not safe. We're here! This is it! Let's dig Damn, the Sash must have done this. It can't be! I put a sign here! There's no mistake! Well, Dandro Slimes can't read. Uh. Ah, slime. Yep, Dendro slime. We could talk later. Let's take them out first. Written in the stars. Delves oh, that's destiny. so many of them. Oh. Time to clean up. Yep. Yep. Damaged in the explosions. Retrieval complete. Let's bring it back. <laughs> Cute. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back to Mona. Wow, the storm is past. Mm, such fair weather. Why don't we do a bit of sunny work? Oh, what sort of work is that, you ask? <laughs> well, anything that makes. Whatever. You're back at last. The wait was exceedingly dull. I had intended to read a book to pass the time, but this one was just some ridiculous diary. Nothing of note in it at all. It dropped from Klee's backpack, so I thought it might contain some ancient knowledge. <laughs> Never mind that. So, did you find the box? We did. It's in perfect shape. That's wonderful. Wait a moment. Why isn't it locked? And why is it oh, empty? No. Hey? Well, it's because I borrowed this box to store my treasures. <laughs> borrowed? But since you're here for the box, I took all my treasures out. That's why it's Oh my empty. god. <laughs> you used it to store your things? Then where are the original contents of the box? That's what I want. Alice has some, probably. Oh, you want the thing that used to be in the box? You should have said so. You haven't broken it, have you? No, it's not broken. I never all. thought we would have seen Mona and Klee interact. That's so cute. Oh, it's the book in your hand. Oh, what? that doesn't make sense. <laughs> this, so this book, this diary, is that Hag's? It's her diary from fifty years ago. Wait, are we still talking about Alice or her master? Alice, like fifty years old. Damn. 
The thing she wanted back after 50 years was the dark history of her youth? Huh. I'm finished. No wonder... No wonder that old woman said I should not look at it no matter what or she'd rip me to shreds. Then why'd she look at it? <laughs> am, am I a truck? Oh, because she didn't know. <laughs> said you wanted the box you didn't say anything about the thing inside. sorry don't put this on me now i don't know anything i'm leaving bye <laughs> there's a point getting medically oh no um well if you don't say anything your master won't find out will she impossible astrology can see through all lies you've seen it yourself <sighs> after having spent all my mora to come to mondstadt not only have i gained no knowledge but now I can't return. How did it come to this? That's so sad. Maybe you could forget everything in that book and then go back. That's... Uh, too difficult. And even if I wanted to stay in Mom's dad, it would too be... <laughs> embarrassing? Yes. Oh. How can I maintain a proper astrologist's mentality if I stay with all these Philistines? So she's like implying that she's coming from another world or something? Because like... She's not from Monster. Hmm. Well, then you'll just have to go back and face your master. S stop talking about it. I, I guess I'll have to. I'll just have to stay in Mondstadt temporarily. Once that old crone's reached the end of her days, I'll be free. Doesn't really count as temporary. <laughs> but what will I do about my astrology research? No, wait. I don't even have a place to. What stay. about this place in Monster with the big old hydro sigil on the door? The Adventurers Guild? Ah, right. You can do commissions for them in exchange for... You know what I mean, don't mm, you? Sure. Oh, um, thanks. I... Never mind, it's nothing. <laughs> the music. Okay, okay. Speak to Catherine to help Mona find a place to stay. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Ain't nobody getting left outside the city. Not on my watch. Haven't talked to Mars and Catherine in Quest in a while. Hi there. Ad Astra Abyssoth. Um. I see. I understand the situation. There is a magic laboratory in Mondstadt that has been sealed by some unknown That's person. That's the one I was talking about. Although we have a few specialists who could break the seal, they all have their own labs and aren't that interested in the matter. I believe that if the astrologist you mentioned can break the seal, the owner of that house wouldn't mind if she stayed hmm. there. Who would the owner be? Think she can do it. All right, then allow me to tell you where the house I know. is. I know, I know. <laughs> I can do so without looking at the map. This is my biggest flex. Oh, hello, kitty cat. It's my biggest flex. <gasps> da -da -da -da. Investigate. The person who placed the seal is by no means simple. Breaking this seal by force is nigh on impossible. Interesting. I suppose it's worth using my astrology on. Let me see. Hmm, I see. So, if you first, and then you... Wow, you found a place to stay. Welcome to Monster, Mona. You made it. <laughs> Alright, it's open. Holy moly, that's amazing! Now we just need to go back to Catherine and you'll be able to stay here. No need, no need. You have my utmost thanks. Oh, is this, a, is this a grand hotel? You are? Oh, I'm Goth, the owner of this house. I passed by the Adventurers Guild a while back and Catherine told me about the matter. I never thought this troublesome seal would be dispelled so quickly. Does that mean I can stay here? <laughs> of course, of oh. course. The facilities inside were just being left there anyway. I would be glad to have someone make use of The them. temptation to call this episode homeless and broke. <laughs> to express my thanks, I shall rent this building to you at the lowest possible price. Rent? I didn't hear anything about rent, and I helped oh, out Oh, come too. on, Mona. Uh, oh, well, yes, of course, I understand. I am most thankful to you for that. So rest assured that I will give you the best rates. I... I mean... Paimon thinks Mona's misunderstood something, but... <laughs> Save a little here, scum a little there, and you'll be fine. I guess I don't have any other choice. 
I'll rent you can't get place. it for free. Great. Then we are agreed. I will go prepare the documentation. Please wait here. Thanks for your help. Also, well, I'm very sorry, but I won't be able to do what I agreed to help you with just yet. Without the necessary tools and without new knowledge, it will take me some time to see your destiny clearly. But I promise that I'll do a reading for you first thing once I'm ready. Guess we're gonna keep working at it then, huh? <laughs> yes. I don't really know what to do, but I'll do we my best. We already make progress. You got a house now. I wish you both safe travels. <sighs> as for me, I need to think of the future as well. Hmm, <laughs> cute. How is she gonna make a living if she doesn't use astrology to make money? Yeah, she gotta start now. She can start by babysitting Clee. <laughs> oh, they don't get along. Maybe we should come back and check on her once in a while. It would really be bad if she fainted from hunger oh in there. Oh no. And... Beyond the World Stars, quest completed. Yay. Mona's Laboratory. Have bracket out. I'm doing experiments here. Oh, it's you! I'm currently running some tests related to your situation. I should see some results soon, so please wait patiently. Don't worry about me fainting from hunger. In any case, I figured out a way to make some money. Oh. Again? Okay, no. That's so cool. I really liked it. Anyways, gotta end the episode. Oh, really gotta use the bathroom. Guys, <laughs> this was Genshin Impact for today. See you in the next video. Till then, Shazam. Bye bye. departing soon.